Hey there, tubers. Thought I'd make a video today about uh, the lift capacity and uh, hydrostat on this uh, CT5555. Uh, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know that I've had some lift capacity issues uh, since this tractor was new. Uh, it, it haven't, I haven't been able to lift what the rated lift capacity is and uh, I've gotten all kinds of excuses from the dealer about it um, but uh, I've also had calibration lights uh, come on with the hydrostat and what it does is when the light comes on you can't go forward or back uh, with the hydrostat until that light goes out now the dealership told me that's just telling you that the hydrostat needs to be calibrated and it's a fairly typical thing they say um, so I had them come out they calibrated it um, I'm not sure how the calibration all works because they never did start the tractor uh, I assumed when you calibrated it you'd probably start it and run it forward and back with the computer on it and. Uh, and set it that way, but uh, apparently I was wrong. They've uh, just plugged their computer in, turned the key on, and uh, done a calibration that way. But after the first time they calibrated it, uh, the light has never been on since. But the hydrostat hasn't acted properly since. And they've been out, I've taken the tractor in and then they've also been out a couple additional times and calibrated again I think we're up to four calibrations now and they can't seem to get uh, the hydrostat to work properly so uh, they've been doing some testing um, I just got it back they've had it for uh, almost three weeks now uh, trying to figure out what's going on with it and they've decided that uh, their best bet is to replace the hydrostat and the hydraulic pump and uh, they think that's uh, all tied together the hydraulic pump isn't producing enough to get the lift capacity out of it and it's also not producing enough to get the hydrostat to work properly uh, they originally tested it said the pressures were very low for coming from the factory. They thought possibly somebody from the factory had just not uh, set the pressures at the right setting. So they had to order some uh, special equipment from Bobcat to uh, turn the pressures up, which I'm not sure what, what all that entailed, but uh, they turned the pressures up and it did not help with the lift capacity or the hydrostat. So they assume that the hydraulic pump is bad and they're going to split this tractor here when they, whenever uh, they get delivery of a new pump from Bobcat. So I thought I would do kind of a before and after video, show you what it's lifting now, uh, kind of what the hydrostat is doing, and then when I get it back, see how big of a change, if any, uh, there is. So with this tractor um, and loader setup, it is rated at 2340 pounds lift capacity. And that's based at two feet from uh, the lift pivot. So that'd be, uh, you know, out in this area somewhere. So if you had just a regular bucket on, that's basically uh, the front of the bucket and it doesn't pick that up so what I've done here is got my uh, excavator muck bucket here and I know that this thing when it was new is 18 1780 pounds and that's without the uh, lifting pins um, they're about 25 pounds each so that puts it at about 1830 or so 
and then there is a little bit of mud in there but uh, not a whole lot so I would add probably 20 pounds that'd be uh, more than enough I would assume for what's in there so that ends up being around 1850 pounds and if I did my calculations properly uh, 1850 pounds at 31 inches from the pivot point should make the tractor think that it's at 2300 and roughly 2350 pounds so right at lift capacity now when they say lift capacity at 2340 that's lifting it off the ground and getting it up in the air uh, that's not lifting it off the ground an inch uh, that's actually being able to lift it off the ground and and set it on a trailer or, or what have you uh, so I'll fire this up we'll see uh, if this will lift it or not um, I do have about 950 pounds of ballast in the tires and then I've got my box scraper on which weighs about 850 pounds so I've got about 1800 pounds of extra ballast on the rear of the tractor so this thing should lift it if it's working properly so I'll hop in the cab here and uh, we'll see what happens alright so I'll fire up here Now at an idle, I don't know that I would expect it to lift it, but uh, we'll see what happens. It's taking up the slack in the pallet forks, but it has not lifted it off the ground. So, you get it up to about 2,000 RPMs here and see what happens. opinion it did get it off the ground but uh, not high enough that I could ever get it on anything let's see if the curl works any better here we'll try curling at an idle absolutely no curl go up to 2,000 here Again, no curl. It's a definite pressure being built put on the hydraulics. We'll go up to the 2750. Again, no curl whatsoever. So in my opinion, it's it's not doing what it should do and the dealership agrees with me on that so hopefully we'll uh, get this resolved with the new hydraulic pump and hydrostat setup so I'll set this back down And I'll actually uh, pull into it a little further here. So we'll 
Tesla. Get it in at the two foot range and see if that makes much of a difference. I'll jump out and measure that and make sure that we're at two foot and then uh, try it again. All right, it's at two foot. So again, we'll try picking it up at an idle. like I got it about a foot off the ground this time, but that's uh, all she's going to do. Go up to 2,000 here. jump out and measure this real quick just see how high it did get it off the ground so I got it uh, 27 inches off the ground so it was uh, probably closer to 20 inches uh, at 2,000 rpms so full throttle 27 inches and this is at two feet from the pivot point where you're supposed to be able to get the full 2340 pounds of lift capacity This is about 1,850 pounds. Um, I think if I took the box scraper off and didn't have the ballast in the tires, I would guess that I wouldn't get, even get it this high. So again, uh, not what I think it should lift. Uh, of course, there's. Some, some of you guys out there probably know a lot more about this than I do. And, uh, if you care to, throw some comments in below and let me know your thoughts. But, uh, the dealership has agreed that it's not lifting what it should. So uh, they're going to tear it apart and see if they can fix it. Now as for the hydrostat, it uh, cuts in and out, and I'll see if this video will pick up uh, what I'm talking about. You can hear it more in the, the noise of the hydrostat than anything. Let's see if uh, I can pick something up here. with a steady pedal movement and you can hopefully hear it cutting in and out. I'll try it again here. That's full pedal. And it cuts in and out as if I was letting on and off of the pedal. They seem to think that that's uh, tied to the hydraulics and uh, replacing that hydraulic pump should cure that. So I'm hoping they're right. Um, otherwise, I'm not sure what the next step would be. So again, I'll see if you can tell or not. today but I've had days where you can hardly sit in the seat and like I said uh, this is going to be a two-parter before and after uh, I'm guessing it's
guys. Or I'm hoping it's only going to be a couple weeks before I get it back. But uh, hard telling with uh, the way uh, parts and, and delivery are going these days. But uh, as soon as I get it back, I'll kind of go through the same process and we'll see if uh, anything's improved. So, see you soon.